so what is going on everybody welcome to your 17th android application development tutorial my name is Mehul and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create dynamic views with your Java code and then append them on runtime actually in real time in your application activity so first of all let me just get rid of all that stuff which we have from the past tutorial let me just get rid of these two attributes as well and uh, inside our main activity.java what we can do is that we could actually create a button dynamically and then append that so it might be useful in some situations like if you are receiving some data from backend or you know you are just creating a fun application where you just want the user to tap on the button and then some text displays sort of well in case actually we could develop such an application so actually let's just do that so I'm gonna say this is a button with a wrap content and uh, wrap content only and an Android text of uh, let's just say this is create a new button and let's just give it an ID of um, first button so that it's easier to track and then I'm gonna say that button first button is find view by ID r dot ID dot first button right and let's just move that out so Java stops complaining about that right there then I want to explicitly typecast it to button okay then r dot wait a minute this is all right so we miss upon find view by id here we go okay so now I want to say that first button dot set on click listener and new on click listener here we go and uh, what I want to do is that I want to append a button so I need to actually create one and how do we create one I'm gonna say button second button is equal to new button and then the application context so I'm gonna say this is main activity dot this now you could have used only this right here but what would happen is that <coughs> this keyword if you have you know used any other language which makes use of this keyword well obviously most of them makes use of that <coughs> and the context is pretty much clear then this is right now targeting this this class event right now so you need to append the button to your main activity right so you need to target main activity dot this not just any other this so once you are done with that you need to set how your button would look like because right now it's just raw piece of information it's just a simple button in memory allocated so I'm gonna say second button dot set layout per parents and this is just parameters a short form for that and then again we need a class and I'm gonna say new linear layout no not that and actually we are making use of relative layout right so we need to have new relative layout dot layout parameters right and inside here what it would do is that it would require you to write relative layout dot layout parameters and it's kind of confusing I know dot match parent right and again the second line would be the same pretty much and here we go now what the heck is going on just give me a sec and I will just make things clear once we are done with this so finally I'm gonna say to add actually I need to give it an ID Android ID 
equals id equals my layout and i'm gonna say right here i could just target it relative layout my layout equals null then i'm gonna say that uh, right here it's my layout equals find view by id r dot id dot my layout and typecast it to relative layout and uh, then finally i want to do my layout dot add view and this is a method and then it would accept second button as an argument so all the code is quite self-explanatory i guess and just need to make sure i write find view by id there and pretty much what is happening here is that first of all i'm just creating a button with this main activity interface then with my layout i'm just getting the particular layout this one right now and uh, then second button is i'm just setting some layout parameters which again makes use of this new relative layout dot layout parameters because we are making use of relative layout then i want to set relative layout dot layout parameters match parent and this would be the width and height of that particular element so you know that uh, match parent fills the whole parent so it would probably fill the whole screen so let's start just try that out in the browser or not really the browser but the emulator first so let's see how it looks like and uh, it's installing and launching so what we need to do is click on this button and you would see that it actually filled up with another button but not really because yes it has it so the button is kind of not hundred percent translucent no it oh, we call that opaque actually so the button is a bit kind of translucent so you can see a little bit outside that but you know you get the idea that how to create a dynamic button then what you can do is that there are a lot of other properties associated with this button or any other view which you are gonna dynamically add so that is how pretty much you basically create a button and uh, you could just change this to some other stuff like wrap content our good old friend so that it kind of doesn't suck so that is all pretty much for this tutorial and uh, in the next tutorial I'm just gonna explain a little bit more about these properties and how to make them work nicely and if you like this then don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one